We are talking health this morning with Dr. Scott Ackerman. According to the American Cancer Society, lung and bronchus cancer kills almost as many people as colorectal, pancreatic, and breast cancer combined. But early screening can help reduce that number and save lives. Joining me now is local oncologist Dr. Scott Ackerman. Good morning. Good morning, Jen. So there's a new way now to screen for lung cancer? Yes, uh, we've been looking at different screening techniques and modalities for lung cancer for many, many years. As you know, with breast cancer, we have the mammogram, and we've been using mammography, oh gosh, since the 70s, and we have found that it really saves lives by diagnosing breast cancer early. Lung cancer is a real challenge. So many men and so many women die of lung cancer every year, but we have been, it's been difficult to find a way to screen for that and diagnose it early. Many years ago, we looked at chest x-rays, doing screening chest x-rays to try to find lung cancer early, and that didn't work. We found out that we found lung cancers, but it was too late at that point when it was seen on a regular chest x-ray. But with CAT scans, we find them very, very early when they're very, very small with a higher potential for cure. And what's interesting, I think, about it is, is and, and correct me if I'm wrong, is the reason that lung cancer very frequently is not very survivable is because it's caught so late, and as a result, there's very little that can be done to, to stop it because it's already spread, perhaps, from the lung? Right. Typically, lung cancer, when patients present, it's already in their lymph nodes or it's other parts of the body, their bones or their liver. And in that case, the five-year survival is only 20, 25 percent. But if someone has a lung cancer that's small, less than three centimeters, which is about an inch, and it hasn't spread to any lymph nodes, the survival uh, rate there is over 90 percent. So the CT scan, is that proven to be very effective in detecting then lung cancer? Yes, absolutely. So in certain populations, those people that are at high risk for lung cancer, a large study was done originally that looked at doing chest x-rays on an annual basis versus CAT scans on an annual basis. And they found that the chest x-rays didn't enhance survival at all. But those patients that had CAT scans every year had a much improvement in overall survival and a lower risk of dying of lung cancer than uh, patients that weren't screened. And that's because the CAT scans can find small tumors that are only a few uh, a centimeter or one and a half centimeters in size where it's very, very highly curable. So sometimes a lot of people wait until they start experiencing symptoms before they actually go to get screened, and you're recommending that that not be the case, given right. the fact that we have this new test. So who should get screened and when? So as I mentioned a minute ago, there's a certain high-risk population. And the high-risk population are those people that have a smoking history, because we know smoking is directly related to lung cancer. And the metric we use is 30-pack year history. So what does that mean? That means either smoking one pack a day for 30 years, or maybe two packs a day for 15 years. Uh, both of those would be a 30-pack history. Half a pack a day for 60 years, I guess, would work as well. So someone who has a 30-pack history, who's between the ages of 55 and 74, and who's currently smoking or maybe has quit within the last 15 years. And also someone who has not had a lung ca a CAT scan of the lung uh, in the past year. These are those that are eligible, and these are those where we've, we see that this low-dose CAT scan that uh, to find lung cancer early actually cures patients, saves lives, and gives better overall survival with patients with lung cancer. Is this screening covered by insurance? Yes, it is. Yes, there's been a lot of advocacy for that. It's certainly covered by Medicare and by most insurers if you fit these criteria, if you're in the age group and you also have this uh, strong smoking history. Makes you wonder, why wouldn't you get screened? <laughs> right. Dr. Scott Ackerman joining us, local oncologist. Thank you, doctor. Appreciate your perspective. Thank you, Jen. Have a great day.